2009, um, the staff were scrambled. Staff of the News of the World were scrambled, uh, along with a number of freelancers, including freelance photographers and including private investigators, including the one who's come out and said it, Mr. Derek Webb, uh, in order to follow every single member of the DCMS Select Committee. Um, they were kept under surveillance for three days. Well, there's a bit of a dispute here. Um, my source says three days. Other sources um, that um, I've heard today suggest ten days. But anyway, whether it was three or ten days, um, every member was under surveillance uh, until a member of staff or a couple of members of the uh, News of the World staff said, Either there's nothing to be got here, or there was a sense of embarrassment at being requested to do it. And then there was a complete change of heart uh, at, um, at the top level. We don't know how senior this went, by the way, uh, but a complete change of heart. And everyone was told to stop doing it, not to talk about it, and to give up on the whole enterprise. Was this reportedly 24-7 for this three or, or ten days? I don't know. Um, it's, uh, I understand persistent surveillance, but I don't know whether it was 24 hours. Who scrambled them? Well, you know, if I was to say that, uh, and I do know uh, from my source who said it, um, I would, I believe, be prejudicing a likely trial, so I'm not prepared to say. Are you able to say how high up the tree it went? Well, I mean, I think that Given that there are a relatively small number of executives, to get into a guessing game like that would be counterproductive. Anyway, it was a senior executive. What we don't know, Kay, is whether it involved uh, the knowledge of the then editor, Colin Myler. Uh, but it does seem um, inconceivable that um, a whole staff virtually can be involved in something, an enterprise like this, without at least someone very, very senior indeed knowing. Not a, imagine the resources involved in terms of money, time, and being taken off other work to do it. So um, if the source is correct, and by the way, this source correlates other sources, um, and uh, Tom Watson MP uh, appears to have another source, uh, then uh, it does seem to be an extraordinary enterprise, but, but uh, probably not illegal.